Hi, I'm Bridget Nguyen with the National Chicken Council, and today I have a really easy recipe for you that uses my favorite form of chicken, rotisserie chicken. I love these chickens. They're available everywhere, and they have bailed me out in so many situations when I don't have dinner ready on the table. So for this recipe, we're gonna be doing pulled barbecue chicken on cheddar corn cakes. And the first step is just to start pulling our chicken. I'm just gonna really easily break this apart with my hands, and then Pulled chicken is really just a fancy southern word for shredded chicken. So I'm just going to pull off the meat and shred it up into really nice pieces. Rotisserie chicken is one of those great things that just always stays juicy and you get the convenience of a roasted chicken at home without ever having to turn on your oven. They're a great time saver, a wonderful shortcut, and you can turn the meat into anything, whether it's chicken salad or chicken soup. Another thing I love to do as soon as all the meat is pulled is to turn the bones into chicken stock. So that's also a great time saver and a money saver. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this meat. We're going for about four cups of total chicken. And the breast meat is so nice and moist and really, really flavorful. So we're just gonna transfer all this to a big bowl and then with barbecue, naturally, we need sauce. So I'm gonna pull something really easy together. All I have here is bottled salad dressing and it's a balsamic vinaigrette, about a quarter cup. And to pair it up, we're gonna do an equal amount of barbecue sauce. And this is so delicious together because the sweet and smoky barbecue sauce is really nicely offset by that tangy, punchy vinaigrette. So just stir it together and you just get a really nice homemade barbecue sauce taste and then we're gonna lightly dress our pulled chicken. So just pour that over that, and then we're just gonna gently toss this. You can add as much or as little as you like, but I like to keep it pretty lightly dressed. And then we're just gonna set this aside. Now we need something to go with our pulled barbecue chicken. I'm gonna show you a really easy recipe for cheddar corn cakes. All you need is one package of corn muffin mix, half a cup plus two tablespoons of milk, one egg, half a cup of grated cheddar cheese, two tablespoons of scallions, and then about half a can of corn, just yellow corn kernels, it's about three quarters of a cup. This all goes in one big bowl and then you can just whisk this up. It's gonna make kind of like a chunky pancake batter, and that's exactly what we're gonna do, is cook these just like pancakes. So let's just whisk this up and take a look. And that's just about right. That's exactly what you're going for. And we're gonna cook these on a cast iron skillet that I've got heating up back here, but you could use any kind of pancake griddle or skillet that you typically use. I've got some oil heating in a cast iron skillet, and that's what I'm gonna to use to cook our cheddar corn cakes. This is just like cooking pancakes. These are like a savory, cheesy pancake. And I'm using an ice cream scoop to portion the batter, which is so easy, and it makes cleanup a cinch. This is gonna make everything consistently sized, and you're gonna go for cakes that are about three inches across, and just lay the batter down in there, and just kind of ease them out into your pan. I'm gonna let these cook for about two minutes per side. Now to finish assembling, I'm just piling up this pulled barbecue chicken on our cheddar corn cakes. Just a nice heap of that pulled chicken. And you've got a really pretty presentation and a tasty dish. To top it all off, I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy corn relish. This is just throwing together some fun ingredients. I've got the rest of the can of corn that we used in our cheddar corn cakes, and to that I'm just gonna add a quarter cup of minced red onion, one diced jalapeno pepper, a quarter cup of minced red pepper, and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Just season with a little bit of salt and you've got something that's just so colorful and fresh and it's the perfect topping to these cheddar corn cakes. And to top this off, we're just gonna add a little bit of this corn relish on top of our pulled chicken and it's just a really nice addition of color. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. And there you have it. This is a great recipe that has some wonderful shortcuts in it but it also tastes completely homemade. Your guests will love it. Until then, I'm Bridget Nguyen.